Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Donovan and today we're going to take a look at a portable mini projector from a company called Vankyo. This is their Passport M50. It's available right now on Amazon.com for $250. So I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in checking this thing out. Uh, so let's go ahead and unbox it, see what you get in the box. So first of all, let me mention this is an Android smart projector. Um, so it's going to work similar to like an Android TV box, uh, which means it's going to be running the the full Google Play Store, but then also uh, it's going to have some third-party apps that are going to allow you to uh, basically stream TV and movies that aren't actually available in theaters, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, but you can see we have a 2.4 gigahertz keyboard, which is really awesome. So this is a mini keyboard slash, uh, we'll call it a remote control, but this one's a full-blown keyboard here. Um, and uh, we get some instructions for it. Now it's 2.4 gigahertz, so you're gonna use a USB um, that is in the package um, to plug into the actual uh, projector here. So let's go ahead and open up the projector and see what you get inside of the package here and see what all ports we have available. So while we're doing that, let me just mention a couple other things. This is of course running Wi-Fi. We have a 4,200 milliamp hour battery, uh, which means you can actually play some movies uh, for two and a half hours is what they claim. Uh, so that's really awesome. So you can actually basically watch an entire movie without having to have it plugged in if you so choose. Now it does of course come with a power adapter as well. So as far as ports here, you can see we have an SD card slot, we have a USB, uh, drive there. So that's probably what you're going to use for that 2.4 gigahertz. We do also have our 5 volt for charging it, headphone jack, and a power button. On the back you could also see a speaker there as well. Um, so we have our manual focus, so that's going to be for focusing it. Um, and then we also have our projector up front, of course, and uh, then our air vents up front to prevent it from overheating. All right, so in terms of size, you can see here, it's basically the exact same size as my iPhone XS Max, uh, but a little bit thicker, obviously. So it is very pocketable, um, but obviously a little bit bigger than probably what you'd want to stick in a pocket. But certainly, uh, if you have some big pockets, you can easily fit that one in there. Definitely easily fit it in a backpack, though. All right, so we have our uh, manual here, so the Passport M50 user manual. You can see it's available in a few different languages, and right up there in the front is English, so that's awesome. And uh, inside the box, you also get, what do we have here? All right, looks like this is going to be another remote. So this one's actually going to be one that's going to use the IR sensor on the projector. So um, one is the 2.4 gigahertz, the one with the keyboard's 2.4 gigahertz, and then that one's for uh, infrared, uh, similar to what you'd have for a TV. We have our power adapter, and then we have an HDMI cable, so that's nice, because, uh, of course, it does uh, support HDMI input as well and we have our USB power adapter as well so we can either use USB or we can directly plug it in uh, to a wall through that wall adapter as well and then over here it looks like we have a tripod I think that's what that is all right so we have a sleeve for carrying it and you know just to protect it and then we have our miniature tripod as well all right, so very cool. So that's what you get in the box. Now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what all this thing can do. All right, so now we got it mostly set up and I wanna go ahead and jump into the settings first of all. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at network. And you can see here under the Wi-Fi networks, we do have 2.4 and five gigahertz available. Um, so that's great. Um, so you can utilize that dual band Wi-Fi. Um, of course, we have Bluetooth. We can adjust our sound display. Um, but here in storage and reset, you can see that we have a total space of 4.8 gigabytes available of storage. That's out of that eight that's available on uh, the actual projector itself. And you can see here we're running Android 7.1.2. Um, now, basically, other than that, we're pretty much running stock Android here, um, but this has got obviously got a pretty heavy skin on top of it. Now, just as a little bit of a heads up here, right now we're projected at about 50, I wanna say a little over 50 inches. Um, so free click, uh, the app that I just clicked on. So this app is actually kind of like a secondary play store uh, for this projector. So you can see here that when we go into it, um, it's basically gonna give you a whole bunch of apps that uh, some of them are 
um, available on the Play Store, but other ones maybe not. Um, so for instance, Terrarium TV is one that's not. Showbox isn't. Uh, Kodi isn't as uh, as well. Freeflix HQ. So some of these are ones where you can actually get kind of like bootlegged type movies. So like Showbox is a real prop popular one. Terrarium. Uh, if we go in here to applications, you can see basically anything that's available on the Play Store is available in here as well. Um, but a lot of them, if you go into the Play Store, maybe aren't compatible with the projector. Whereas if you go into this free click, uh, quote unquote, app store, um, these are going to be the ones that are available and uh, can be utilized. So let's go ahead and download ESPN. We might take a look at that one just a little bit. Um, so we're just here in sports. I mean, see, so you can see there's a bunch of different sports uh, networks available here as well. Um, you can see down here, we also have a bunch of different game types available. So racing strategy, sports games, adventure. Uh, so all kinds of games available. Now, just keep in mind that this really is isn't uh, something I would necessarily want to game on. If you're going to game on it, you probably actually want to connect it up to your phone so you can use apps like Happy Cast um, or Wi-Fi Direct um, to cast your uh, phone's display. Now, my Wi-Fi is running a little bit slow uh, right now, so it's kind of taking a little while for some of these to load. Um, but you can see there's a number of games that you can play directly on the projector. But I would say in general, if you want to play games on this projector, uh, it's probably better if you cast your phone uh, to the projector itself. Um, so let's go ahead and go into action. You can see here we got games like Dead Trigger. Again, uh, Dead Trigger, a game like that, you're probably going to want to play with your phone connected up to the projector. But it's still pretty cool that you can actually project it up to 100 inches. So uh, just as a heads up, right now I have this at about uh, 5 feet away uh, from the wall. Um, and uh, yeah, just another uh, number of other apps available here as well. Um, but let's go ahead and get out of this and uh, we're going to take a look at uh, some of the other apps specifically now. All right, so the first app I want to jump into here is the Google Play Store. Um, so you can see here that it does run a regular version of the Google Play Store. But again, if you want to uh, have the most luck with having compatible apps, you're probably going to want to use that free click store or free click app store that I showed you a little bit earlier. But you can see here we got games, we have video uh, watching options as well. Um, so that's great. But again, that free click option is probably going to be the best one uh, for this projector. Now let's go ahead and jump into Netflix. While I'm in Netflix, I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights on here in just a moment um, but just to keep in mind uh, so this is a completely dark room at the moment and I have it projected about 50 inches maybe just a little bit larger than 50 inches um, so just uh, kind of an idea of what the resolution looks like on the display now it's actually getting blown out just a little bit by my uh, phone camera here um, but this is what it looks like with a fully lit room so you can see it is visible but not the best and then you turn the lights off and you can see obviously it's much more visible here I a little bit will play around with the lighting uh, just a little bit just so you can see a little bit better option now I mentioned earlier there's an app called showbox super popular app uh, if you're someone who uh, is used to like an Android TV. So if you're not familiar with Showbox, basically it has a brand new TV, brand new movies available here. Sometimes they're gonna be in like subtitles, um, but for the most part, it's gonna have uh, English versions of any movie that's just out. Um, so we have, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some information. So this is my first time actually using it on this projector. Um, but when we go up here into our little menu option, We'll go ahead and uh, we'll start off with some movies. All right, so if you jump into the movies, you can see here a bunch of brand new movies that are just out are available. Let's go ahead and jump into one. So uh, here you can see Peter Rabbit. So this is a movie that's been out for a little bit. So at the moment, I actually have um, some... Uh, lights outside of the room on so you can see there's a little bit more background lighting um, but here's what it looks like with some background lighting again this is about 55 inches I'm gonna guess um, but uh, not too bad overall I think the resolution looks great um, it's certainly not going to be 1080p, uh, but definitely usable for things like video games. So if you have some friends you want to play some video games with, uh, this isn't a bad option for uh, you know family movie night, get some popcorn. And uh, we're going to move it around just a little bit um, just so you can see and turn the lights back on. Um, so you can see with the lights on, obviously it's not going to be nearly as visible. Um, so just a heads up, um, you're going to want to have a 
relatively dark room uh, in order to use this projector. Um, but anyways, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Um, I certainly like this. Uh, I'm, I'm all about these Android projectors. Lots of fun. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.